How's it going, my Gs? It's Artifact, and today we're going to make a vital bass again using this flute. So we're going to resample the flute into vital by first recording it and then using a combination of the sample section and the wavetable section and blending those together. So firstly, let's listen to how the flute sounds when I recorded it in. Now we'll listen to the bass that I made using the flute. So as you can tell, it's quite an interesting cool bass and let's have a little look at the patch. Uh, basically what we do is we just drag and drop our uh, audio file I've got here. When we drag it over to the wavetables, we can choose if we want to wavetable, vocode or pitch slice it. And I've just put on a wavetable section here and then a vocode section on the second one. And then I've also dropped it in onto the sample section. So we have the raw audio file as well. And then what we're going to do in the actual synth is we're going to start off just with our first resampled wavetable version here. Just take off our effects quickly. So this is kind of the wavetable version that we that we end up with at the beginning. End up with at the beginning, yeah. Uh, and we put on a few effects here. So I'm going to put on the smear, and I'm going to turn up the detuning. And everything is kind of normal in the detuning tab, uh, advanced tab today on this one. Just making it wider. That's the kind of high wide layer. And then our second one is is kind of. Uh, picked up a bit of a lower note from the flute when I've put it into this wavetable so just add a bit of width to that and also smearing it a little bit and then on the advanced tab here I've just changed it to this harmonics mode sounds nice like that as well but the harmonics one just kind of uh, fitted nicer with the original oscillator And then I've just done a bit of spectral spreading and distortion spreading on this uh, advanced section here. And um, we're tracking everything to an LFO, which is just a slow ramp up, basically, because I wanted to get like a kind of long, sort of almost flute horn, fog horn kind of sound going. And then to kind of like bring it all together, again, I'm putting a sort of sort of square sine wave in underneath everything. And there we have it. And we also can't forget about the original sample. We put that in here. I'm actually leaving the level up of it, so it's it's kind of quite quiet in the background. But we're gonna we're frequency modulating uh, from the sample uh, into this sine wave and onto this second oscillator here, just to kind of blend it in together with the os with the wavetables. So. already have quite a nice expressive kind of bass sound here and then this is pretty much the main section here and then we just go over to the effects where we can sort of bring out the sound a bit more and again yeah the chorus with the freeze mode playing with these delay settings the feedback in the mix a little bit and tracking the mix to the LFO compressor again just to bring out a bit of that crunchiness then I've gone for a filter here, this phaser filter, which just, yeah, it kind of just morphs the sound into quite a nice. You can see, so add some nice sort of filter movement here. And then finally, slam it through some hard clipping distortion. And there we have our flute horn bass. Yeah, this bass preset is now available on my Patreon and you can find the link below. You can check out my website if you want more information about my tutorials, one-on-one -on -one sessions and presets. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wicked day. Peace.